thinking after 30 years, do I have it anymore? Like, I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And what I realized is it wasn't that I was like, getting soft and mushy. It was that I did not have my colleague there. I did not have my partner. I did not have my other adult where I can, you know, look them in the eyes and be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. You know, like, where you kind of point to that kid and you point <laughs> to the other kid and you take one and I get the other one. You know, where you sit and you plan and you're like, so which seats and how are we going to do this lesson and who's going to struggle and who may get hurt and who's going to grow and who's going to glow? Like, I did not have that person in the room with me. And what I felt was not like I get mushy after 30 years, but it was loneliness. It was that my partner, my colleague, was not there. And it was a stunning moment that just reinforced to me the power of having a capable paraprofessional as an educational partner. And so when I think about the issues around pay, like it's not about a reward for services, because that's how they want it. It's a reward for services. It really isn't. It's a justice for labor. It's right. justice Woo! for Woo! labor. Yes. Justice for labor. And our paraprofessionals and our building work really, really hard. And they are some of the best partners. I mean, like my really good colleagues here, they're some of the best partners I've ever had in this enterprise called school. And we should treat them like the experts that they are. Thank you.